What's going on guys, No One Wide here again. Today with another video showing you how to um, pretty much hook up a, a boost controller to your car. There obviously are lots of different boost controllers you can use. The most common, commonly used boost controller probably is a Mac valve, which is just a little small um, PWM type valve solenoid, I guess, if you want to call it that. They're super simple. There's only two wires that hook them up. Uh, they just require a power and a ground, obviously, and the ground will be supplied from the EMU or whatever engine management you're using. Obviously, every engine management is going to be different, so where you need to wire it into is going to be different. I might be able to get to the wiring today. I hope I can get to the wiring today to show you guys or at least provide the pin numbers that you need to wire it to. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to go into all the settings in the EMU quite yet in this video. Mainly, I just wanted to get, wanted to get this thing installed and show you guys how to stall, install it. So this might be kind of like a tech series slash just IS300 video in general. But yeah, let me just show you guys what you need in order to get this done. I do have to go to the parts store to get a little bit more vacuum hose, but aside from that, I can at least run down what needs to happen in general. I know you guys can't see it right now, but there is a wastegate that is just down there on the bottom. Matter of fact, let me see if I can go down there and show you guys what it looks like. All right, rather than climb out of the car and give a stupid camera angle, let me just show you with this wastegate. This is a wastegate that came with the CX Racing kit. Um, basically, you have your Mac valve, you have your wastegate, and just imagine you have a turbo over here. On the turbo, there is the compressor housing, you know, the, the housing that you see when you look at the turbo most generally. And on that housing, there's a little nipple that comes off of it or a port, if you want to call it that. And you will plumb that little nipple to the bottom of the wastegate. This will provide the most basic boost control possible. All you have to do is change the springs in here. And as the turbo develops boost over here, it's sending that source into the bottom of the wastegate and it's going to push up on this valve and that will open this valve and allow it to make you know five pounds ten pounds eight pounds whatever spring you have in here that's what it will make more or less it's super simple and trust me it works fine that's what's on a lexus right now there's a five pound spring i make five pounds of boost max that's all i make now you gotta plumb in the mac valve all the Mac valve is going to do is take the same pressure source that's being developed by the turbo. You're going to tee it off. So you're going to have it coming off the turbo. You'll put a T here. It'll still go to the bottom of the wastegate, but the other pressure source is going to go into this port here on the Mac valve. And when you control this Mac valve elect electronically or through the EMU, um, all that's going to do is take this inlet pressure source here and allow it to pass through this valve and go out of this here port. This port is going to be connected to the top of the wastegate. So basically you're using all of this energy here. It's going to go into the back valve and then you're just going to apply that same pressure to the top of the gate. Now you know how wastegates work. It's just a valve inside. It opens and closes. That's it. The pressure on the bottom here from the turbo naturally wants to open the valve up. However, if you have the same pressure acting on the top of this valve, you know, basic physics here, um, it's going to want to keep the valve shut. So that's going to allow you to develop more boost and um, uh, keep this gate shut, you know, longer. So that's all that's all a Mac valve does. It's super simple. And like I said, these things are about 30 bucks i got this on amazon for 30 dollars i think or 21 dollars because it was on sale and let me show you guys the part now i don't know what i did with the box oh here it is uh, let me show you because there is a certain one you want to get sorry so this one is i'll leave it in the description below and the link below but this is the mac 35a dash triple a dash d d b a dash one b a you do want to you can get on amazon be careful when you go on amazon because there are a tremendous amount of mag valves and they say they're mac valves but if you click on them and look at the brand they're not actually made by mac they're made by some other random company that i don't even know about but generally those ones are like 17 dollars. so just don't buy those ones just buy a mac valve 
Worst case, you have to pay full price for one and they're like 30 bucks. It's not, it's not that big a deal. Just get something that's gonna be reliable. And then I went on ahead and put a a DT style connector on here because they don't come with connectors on them. So I bought this house on Amazon. It was like seven dollars, um, just so it, you know it looks nice. Right? I mean, yeah, you could just splice in and you know butt splice connector this straight to the EMU, but you know that looks kind of janky. So uh, I went on ahead and put a connector on this. So let me go run to the parts store, get some vacuum hose, and we'll get to installing this. I was able to get the Mac valve completely plumbed up, as I mentioned before. I got a T in here. This line over here is going to the compressor housing on the turbo, so this is pressure source coming in here. Then it goes off down into the Mac valve on port one, which is on this side. And then I also teed off that same pressure source and took this down to the bottom of the wastegate where it normally would be if you were not running a boost controller at all. So that's how this here is configured. Obviously I can't show you the bottom of the car. I mean, I can, but it's just, it, it's just not worth it. Just take my word for it that that's where it's going. Then I have uh, port two, which is on the left side. This is now going all the way back down. This one right here running down to the top of the wastegate. So that's what's going to be uh, providing me uh, pressure to the top of the wastegate when I ask the Mac valve to cycle and to work. So as I mentioned before, got the connector here. I'm gonna go on ahead and run some wiring over to the EMU, which is over there right now. Uh, you will need a 12, vo 12 volt switched ignition source or power source. I'm probably just gonna tap off of the EMU's ignition source uh, or the 12 volt source. Probably just gonna tap off of that. Ideally, it's not what I want to do because I, you know, like to make things look nice. But um, you, alternatively, you can go back into the box here. All that's happening in here is the adapter harness is taking the factory plugs and just pulling its own ignition source to the EMU. So I'm just gonna tap it over there, and that'll be my 12 volt source. And then I'll have to actually wire in a pin into the EMU connector, a gray connector here. I'll have to wire in a pin to one of the outputs because what I don't like, I wish that the EMU, uh, the plug and play harness, I wish that it already came with everything already pinned in and just had wires, you know, non terminated, but it, it just doesn't. So um, let me show you guys here that when you buy the EMU brand new, it comes with, excuse the mess here, it'll come with this. Wiring, di wiring diagram, which is what you'll need to look at. So if I'm looking at the gray connector here, you can see over here it says gray and it'll say black here. But on the gray connector, if you look, it's gonna be called G for gray, G18, which is here, this is ignition 12 volt source. So I'm gonna tap into this wire, which is already on the EMU, and that'll be my 12 volt uh, power for the Mac valve. And then what you want to do is to run it into the one of these auxiliary guys here, either you know three, six, five, or four. Uh, with the plug and play harness, unfortunately, six is used for the VVTI control, so I can't use that one. And then five is used for, I believe, the check engine light operation on the EMU, so I can't use that one either. So that leaves you with four and three and two and one. So you can use any of these outputs to control the boost controller. And I'm not gonna get into any of that in this video. This was simply showing you how to plumb up the Mac valve. And then obviously I'm just providing the pins. I, I'm personally gonna use uh, the auxiliary three output because if you read in the uh, instruction manual for this EMU, um, Outputs one and two do not have built-in diodes. And what that's gonna do is prevent flyback voltage, you know, in case something does happen. Uh, you will have to run a diode. If, if you're set on using output one and two, you're gonna have to use a diode. They provide a part number on their website. Uh, and then they actually provide them for you if you do buy a brand new, however, uh, there is a part number on their website that you'll have to use if you want to use 
output one or two. I would, just, I would just suggest using output three or four since those have built-in flybacks already and you don't have to worry about that. You can just wire them straight up to use with the PWM controller like this boost controller is. So yeah, sorry for a little bit of ranting there, but that's what you're gonna have to do. And you're gonna have to go on ahead and use one of their pins here crimp the wire and then just slip it into the connector that is already in the car. So I hope that this video helped you guys out in how to install the Mac valve, at least how to plumb it up and how you can, um, or where you can install it at. As you can see, I just have it sitting just right here. Um, you can obviously install it wherever you want to. Uh, I just chose to put it right there because it looks the cleanest and that's kind of where the most space is that I have right now. And, um, but ultimately you can install it wherever you want to install it at. Uh, they even make brackets for them to make them, uh, you know, look just a little bit more cleaner. But for me, this is going to work just fine. So like I said, in the beginning of the video, this is kind of a, like a, just a video on the IS 300 slash tech series video. So in case you guys are wondering how to plumb one of these up, we have now went over it. So now you know how to do that. Uh, as far as the wiring is concerned, uh, it's really only the two pins. Uh, it's really not that difficult to hook them up. Probably the more difficult part would be setting up the tables and the voltages and stuff inside the uh, EMU software. But like I said, if you guys have any questions about that stuff, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below and maybe I can you know, do a video or an overview of how to set that type of boost controller up and you know just an overview of the emu software as a whole i might be able to you know make you guys a video or something like that i did do that when i had the am fic and i think that helped uh, some people out so again it just ask me in the comment section below i will definitely try and help you guys out as best as i can but for now i'm just going to leave this video as that i am going to have to go on ahead and continue the wiring now and get something set up on the boost target table and the dc like voltage re reference table for this mac valve so i'm gonna have to do some playing around myself just to make sure i get it dialed in but as of now i'm just gonna leave you guys with that i hope you guys enjoyed the video i really appreciate you guys watching the videos uh the subscribers i'm almost getting to a thousand subscribers guys and it's all because you're watching and i really appreciate it i do want to have some type of giveaway when I do reach a thousand subscribers I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing that quite yet normally people would just you know sell things and whoever buys stuff you know I'll just pick one at random but I don't have any merch yet so I'm working on that and maybe I'll you know provide that to you guys later on but I don't know how I'm going to uh pick a random winner I guess I don't know I'll figure that out when I get there but I do already have a um a prize for you guys when we do reach a thousand so i already have something ready to go uh just waiting on that magic number so again thanks for stopping by thanks for watching the video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace